Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for Bandai's Gundam Fixed Figuration Metal Composite 1010 MRX 010 Psycho Gundam Mark II Neon Xeon version. Alright, so uh, this is a really really big box uh, as you all can see. And at the back you see the box art of this toy. So this toy is basically a reissue of the uh, Psycho Gundam Mark II, I'm not sure 103 maybe, uh, just that the color is different. Uh, so. Without further ado, let's get to the toy itself. So here we have, yes, Gundam Psycho Gundam Mark II. This is a really, really big toy. All right. So as you can see, this toy is so big that it cannot fit into my camera. I really have to uh, shift it all the way to the back, uh, unlike uh, most of my other reviews. But this guy is really, really huge. All right. Um, in terms of diecast content, I, I, I can just tell that the uh, let me just see the shoulder joints uh, I'm not sure whether those parts are silver paint or die cast but mainly the die cast is at the uh, legs section uh, which you can't really see right now but the leg section are really mostly die cast uh, but what you like really about this piece seriously um, let me just adjust the camera upwards a little bit Okay, what you like about this piece is that it's really, really detailed. The colors are very vibrant, uh, very bright. I think it's more like an anime color. Uh, very vibrant, very neon. Okay, in front of me, it looks very neon. And there's a lot of decals. The decals on this piece are really wonderful. Really, really small decals like the white you see here. They're all wordings. Very, very detailed decals all over this robot. See, decals all over the place. Really detailed, really, even at the feet. All right, you see the decals, even at this part. You know, these decals over here, these are decals. It's really, really, you know, extremely detailed, which I am so very impressed by this piece. Uh, the number of decals I see in this. Um, I don't have the original uh, Psycho Gundam Mark II, so I can't really tell whether he has so much decals, but this has a lot of decals, and I basically am very, very impressed by the amount of, number of decals they have for this piece, so really, really nice and the fact that this is a big robot and heavy robot is the only reason you need to buy it I mean you buy it because it's Gundam or yes but you just buy this piece because simply it's big and he's heavy he's really huge and he's he's really heavy and I, I, I really love it and um, just to do some size comparison all right before I go further on the review this is a uh, Psycho Gundam Mark II uh, this is a uh, Metal Boot Axia all right put him this way and this is the uh, metal composite uh, unicorn Gundam so as you can see um, Psycho Gundam Mark II is really really huge all right he's so much bigger than um, Axia and uh, even for unicorn Gundam he dwells him as well so let's do a front to front comparison so this is a uh, unicorn Gundam all right with uh, Psycho Gundam Mark II and this is a uh, Metal Build X. Yeah. So you can see the height difference on, on this three. Just shift the camera a little bit. See, so this height difference between the three. So you can you can really see how big you know how big. Let me just do a side profile comparison. How big uh Psycho Gundam Mark II is so extremely big. Again, looking at this, you now you can see really really tell how big and magnificent this guy is. Look at how bulky he is compared to the other two Gundam. So yeah, that itself is uh, a good reason for you to buy this piece. So let me just uh, get these two other pieces out of the way and, and continue on Psycho Gundam. So, you know, really, this is really, really impressive. He comes with a stand, which I'm not going to show. Uh, and then he comes with these accessories. So he comes with this, uh, which you can just take out the hand and, and put this piece to have some, um, some feature or some action that he did in an anime whereby his fist can fly or shoot uh, but I'm not going to show that he does come with this additional head crest that can fold uh, but I'm not going to use it as well and the funnels okay the funnels that come from the back and additional fist and additional funnel bits uh, which I will show later so um, it comes with this uh, articulated finger first all right very interesting right uh, I took them out because I, I put the uh, closed fist in for the transformation so it comes with these two very, very interesting, uh, very nice and, and detailed as well. And comes with the shoe, all right? This is the shoe it comes with. So in order for you to uh, plug the shoe in, you need to uh, remove this portion. All right, you take this tab out. Be careful not to lose this tab, all right? And you slot this 
in. So this is where the shield is done. All right. So let me just. Uh, so this is a metal cycle gunner with the shield. Okay, let me just take the shoe out. Okay, so I can show more on its articulation without any hindrance. I'm gonna put this tap in before I lose it. All right. So in terms of articulation wise, his head uh, has a limited articulation. Okay, mainly because uh, of the uh, these two portions. So he can't really move his head much. He can only move it slightly downwards here, left, right. And one interesting thing to note is that the head is on a magnet joint that has a magnet over here to the neck so it's an interesting joint to me and uh, shoulders wise you can move this outwards it's allow your hands to move this much and you can rotate 360 over here elbows uh, 90 degrees and also at the uh, arm side he can rotate here wrist side okay he can rotate on the wrist and uh, yeah basically that's about it there's no waist rotation uh, due to the transformation uh, knees wise you can move this much click 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 okay click one forward and uh, click one two backwards uh feet wise okay let me just first go to the thighs the thighs you can actually roll stretch them out this much all right uh feet wise you can actually move them this much as well so this is show how imposing his uh, pose is so let me just show you how much you can move so basically yes you can actually do a very dynamic um giant stomp forward pose just see how much you can do so limited uh, articulation to move uh, forward due to the the nature of the toy but this is how much you can actually move so you can sh actually show him actually moving like a giant so which is quite cool which is right, really really cool and um, you know for a big toy I am not so concerned about articulation it doesn't really need to be very articulated I'm just really impressed by the fact that he is so darn big you know that is enough for me so let me just uh, get these parts uh, aligned properly first. These are his legs part, leg parts. Okay. Okay. Let me just get them aligned properly first, and uh, get him to stand. Okay. One. No. So this is how he should stand. Okay. Correct. Give me a minute. Let me just adjust this guy a little bit. Okay. All right, so yes, back to uh, Psycho Gundam. So in terms of, tr okay, yeah, by the way, his hands, you can pull it out and put in those parts uh, to stimulate his uh, action, but uh, I'm not gonna show it anyway. So here is uh, Psycho Gundam Mark II again. Uh, in terms of transformation, it's uh, maybe on the first time you might struggle a little bit, but uh, after doing it a few times, you will be very used to it. And uh, to be honest, the instructions are not very helpful. I had to figure out a number of things myself. So over here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, help to guide you guys on uh, how to transform this guy. So first what you do, you just remove the head. And this is the crest uh, it comes with. Uh, by default, you d it's rubber, which is good. And you can actually fold it as well. Um, and then um, just going to put this aside first. Okay, uh, next thing what you do, Okay, for this transformation, is you actually pull the chest portion outwards, slightly outwards. So this chest portion comes out slightly outwards. You lift it up, all right? Get this out of place a little bit. And at the bottom, you have this clip, okay, that allows you to flip down, this plastic clip that allows you to flip down. You need it as well, okay? This is how it looks like, this piece here. Okay, let me just move it and show you, all right? And once you got it out, there is a, actually a there's a catch for you to actually fit this in. So once you um, fit it out, you just have to wriggle a little bit and find the catch. And once you got it, it's in, all right? And once it's in, just leave it there. And what you do is just uh, lift this portion upwards. And over here, there's uh, on the back, you flip this portion up. Look okay, over here, flip this portion up all the way. And over to the head section, all you do is to push this downwards, push the uh, head portion down and then you close this again that's to form uh, the head and once you're done with that okay you will close this section back here okay and this is done and over here what you do is just lift this okay it doesn't clip it play in place but basically just shifts up and uh, cover up the chest portion all right and uh, what you do for the next step okay is to um, move to the back 
all right and push this downwards push this part downwards okay and you guys can see over here there's this funnels okay this funnels actually can be removed they actually come separate uh, but I actually put them in before the video review because it wasn't easy to get the, the one on top in all right so this section okay pull it down and you're done and over here oh yes what you do for the head right once you move this uh, you actually put the head back in uh, you need to do some wriggling wriggling a little bit so let me just uh, adjust this a little bit first okay open this up I'm gonna put the head back in okay I need to align the the um, neck portion first so here I think let me just see if I got the neck portion correctly Okay. Okay, this will take me a little while. Um you have to do it uh above the camera. It's easier for me to do it outside the camera. Let me just shift it in. Okay, and shift it back here. Alright, and we are done here, over here. Okay. And here we shift this here, over here. And over here what we do for this um portion, this okay what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift them up. Alright, pull them all the way up. You're gonna shift them this way up, and after which you will push them back down. Alright, push them all the way back down. Alright, in this way they will fit in nicely. So you gotta fit in nicely in this um, two sides. Right? See? You gotta fit in nicely to exactly the corner of uh, each side. And what you do on the next part, let me just adjust the head a bit more. Okay, what you do on this part. Okay, over here, flip it this way, okay, and you flip this whole portion up. That should cover the head, and this is where you're done on the top side. All right, next thing what you do over here, okay, this is one thing you are, I need to uh, let fans know. So the instruction actually just tells you to actually pull this portion out, okay, rotate this down and turn this. But you'll find you have some difficulty turning this. Reason is because you need the arm to be completely straight. Alright, completely straight before you can turn it easily. See, now you can turn it easily. If my arm was stretched out, alright, I can't turn this. You see, it's restrictive. And if you try to force it, you might break something. So, the instruction doesn't tell you this. You gotta know it yourself. You gotta straighten here, move this down. Okay, you gotta lift this up. You push this all the way down. Alright, this is what you do. Similar over here. You pull this portion outwards. Okay, uh, lift, you rotate this downwards. You lift the arm, straighten it. Okay, push this all the way down until it sort of locks in place. All right, and then you're done over here. And next step, what you do, over here you need to push down this portion, this tab, push down over here. You leave the arms up. Okay, and as you, let me just uh, align this in place, but as you leave the arms up, you push this down. All right, similarly 90 degrees, and then you push it down, okay. And over here for the arm portion, for the wrist portion, sorry, lift this, lock this in place, rotate this arm to the inside, and uh, lock it in place. Is it locked in place? Okay, so locked in place. And before you uh, actually insert them in, all right, over here, make sure at the waist portion, you lift this two, you flip these two tabs out because you will need them later. So you flip these two tabs out, all right. What you're gonna do over here? Okay, basically just to um, fit it inside. Okay, there's nothing uh, to clip it in place. Like I said, basically just flip it inside, and it sort of uh, aligns itself. All right, so this is how it's gonna look like. And go we'll push this down to align the uh, shoulder parts with the arms. Okay. All right. And uh, next comes the most interesting part and my favorite part of the transformation, which is the leg portion. So the leg portion, let me just uh, flip the camera down a little bit. So leg portion, first thing what you do is just extend this, right, over here. And the next thing you do is to flip this downwards, okay, all the way downwards. It will align itself uh, nicely with the feet. And over here, right, the feet, you just get it out, and here you can see the die cast. This is full die cast, I tell you, full die cast. And you flip the leg here to align it in place over here, and here align it down to the bottom. 
very simple and the next thing you do flip it flip it flip it it just really aligns itself and sits itself very nicely see i don't need to do anything much it just flips itself nicely and there's no uh, there's nothing to lock it it just sits itself very very nicely similarly for the other side you pull this out all right and then you release this catch align this over here align this over here okay next thing you do just collapse this together and voila it just sits very nicely i'm not sure how they do it but engineering is really simple but it flips in very very nicely and again there's nothing to actually lock it in place all right the um, final step that you need to do before you transform the full armor mode is to get the shield so one thing about shield first thing you got to untap this Okay, let me see how I untap it, uh, downwards. Okay, untap this, remove this, get this out. You flip this, lock it in place. You flip this, lock it in place. This with the number two goes on this side. This without it goes on this side, okay? So what you do over here, first you tap this part, okay, to this part. And then later on you tap this part, uh, to this part so over here so I'll tap it here first and next I gotta find this and align it and tap it sweet <laughs> nicely in place oh my gosh I just said sweet uh, those of you who know uh, this dialect called Hokkien sweet means beautiful all right sweet means beautiful so over here similarly all right you will uh, flip this this part will go to here and this part will go to there so here I'm just going to plug this in here I'm just gonna align it in and voila well wow, beautiful 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 and here we have the uh, mobile armor mobile armor mode of uh, Psycho Gundam Mark II so very nice um, very interesting very interesting uh, piece you know it might you might seem to to move at it like a plane but I think uh, he actually moves like this in the anime okay, let me just align this nicely again Again, these parts move down, but they don't uh, lock in place. Um, but you know, this piece is really wonderful. He's, it's really, really awesome. Just holding it in my hands alone. Wow, 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 wow. And again, maybe I just do, uh, do some size comparison of uh, Exia with the mobile armor and uh, Unicorn Gundam. With the old mobile armor, you can see. Even Transform and Shrunken now, he's still so darn big. It's really, really awesome. And I know I. I simply love this piece. I mean, like I said, I said it once and I said it again. You buy this piece and you love this piece simply because he's big and he's heavy. And he really makes a very good display piece along with the other Gundam. So, yes, um, no, this piece used to be going at easily four to five hundred dollars uh, USD on eBay. Uh, but ever since the reissue came out, uh, I think the original version doesn't cost this much anymore. I'm, I haven't had a chance to check it. Uh, but if I can find the original version at a reasonable price, I will definitely get it because this is a really, really nice piece. Uh, he's, he's so nice that I don't mind having a, a different color. You know, in this case, the different color would be the original version of this piece because he's really nice. And um, I mean, transformation wise, for first time when you try, it might be a little bit difficult, you might be real dodgy. Uh, because the instructions are not really clear, they are really not clear on the transformation, especially for the arm portion. So remember watch out for the arm portion of when you transform it uh, be really careful stretch it out okay straighten the arm okay rotate it all right don't stretch out and rotate it without straightening the arm because you're gonna break something and you know that uh you're gonna break something because it's so tough to turn i nearly made that mistake when i did the first transformation but i'm glad i fiddled it a little bit so again straight uh pull it out and straighten the arm and rotate. You can rotate very freely. If you feel it's really hard to rotate, it's restricting itself, do not force it, okay? It means you need to straighten the arm before you can do it. And everything really falls in place really, really well. So this piece, um, despite the fact that it, nothing really locks in place much, but it collapses really, really well. It looks really awesome. It looks really, really clean. And the decal on this piece is really awesome. You now the decal details is really awesome. Uh, this piece, really really awesome i uh nothing but compliments for this piece and uh, I, I i felt that you know if not for the fact that i'm so busy uh recently i would have done the review so much earlier and in fact i felt i should have done this review so much uh earlier and uh right now a uh 
the uh, Gundam Unicorn uh, Zero Two RX um, Unicorn Gundam Number Two Banshee is just released in Japan. Uh, the place where I ordered in, they just received the stock. Uh, I think they're preparing to ship my item. I hope to be able to get it early next week. Uh, hopefully by. Wednesday or Thursday. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that I can get it by Wednesday or Thursday from Japan. It's sending by EMS, but these people they might ship late, but I'm just gonna email them and call them to make sure they ship my items out as soon as possible. And uh, once I receive it, I will do the review on the night itself and present it to you guys. So uh, here's Charles signing off with uh, yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.